Welcome back to Phoenix Point. After multiple false starts, it um, is starting to become clear. I think I have a hardware issue. I, I keep crashing and I keep losing my recordings. This is actually like the fifth time I've tried this mission and it crashes every time. Um, but I made some changes that I hope might help. Zooming in. So I don't know. We'll see. I got him in the torso. Um, I am like surrounded on this map. And my heavy is separated from the rest of the crew. So I'm gonna put him up top. Maybe he can get an ambush. Ready for action. Now the other thing. That's right, you already have... ...your, uh, extreme focus ability. So, the pincer won't actually do any damage, so... I'm gonna try and go for the leg. Uh, just... The best I can, I guess. Maybe get the arm in there, too. Oh, did I kill the one behind him? It's a nice little bonus. One more dealt with. Aiming. Um, let's get you some place where you can do it. Good overwatch. Something like so. Don't want to shoot him until he's close enough. I don't know, something like that's probably fine. Nice. Right there. So it could go for you, but you don't have as much health. Ah, crap, that's not a great shot. Um, I... Why is it showing it not being a kill anyway? Whew, okay. Way. Maybe we can take him out. Yeah, you're just a vanilla Arthurin. Okay, you're dazed, so. Oh, wait. Standing by. Confirming target. Don't want to hurt my own guy, though. Eat out, bitch. Okay, how much health do you have? 20. Okay, so you should die. Might be able to get both these kills. One more dealt with. 
Nice. Beautiful. Alright, send it. Um, okay, since I have played this before, I'm pretty sure that the thing is going to show up over here. So I'll just start moving my men that way. Er. Actually, I think I got turned around. I think it shows up over here. <laughs> Oops. That's what I get for trying to cheat. Relocating. Set up an overwatch. Sprinting. Okay. Can everyone get out? No, no, no. Yes. We Do you believe can. everyone can? Okay, I did it. No hardware crash. I did lower the game settings a little bit in case maybe my hardware just was being stupid. I can normally play this at 4K and then record at a lower resolution. But this time I set it up to match the resolution to um, what I'm recording at. So hopefully, I don't know, maybe that'll help keep things in sync. Um, let's go ahead and level our guys. Now in um, defense missions, when I played around before I start recording this playthrough, I noticed that in um, Haven Defense, uh, you start with such a small amount of will that it's like fairly easy for them to make your men panic just by killing civilians. So, um, I'm going to try and up everybody's will so that at the very least, not everyone will panic at the same time. Okay, the Phoenix Archives. Let's do a uh, Triton. Doran Arthurin. Research complete. Okay, after recovering the base and analyzing the data banks have been left functional, it's clear that the Phoenix Point is now the only operating Phoenix base. 
Maybe other bases out there, but we will need to find them and bring them back online. There is no sign of Randall Symes III, but he has left something potentially useful for us. Randall Symes was the last leader of the Phoenix Project. His great-grandfather had been there when it was founded, and he was there to witness its end. When we took back Phoenix Point, we found his notes. In his final days, as the world collapsed around him, he had been working frantically to understand the Pandora virus. Somewhere in the complicated history of the project, in decades of missions and investigations, there had to be an answer. His notes were damaged, too many of the files corrupted. But perhaps, if we could retrace his steps, we could figure out where his journey had taken him and what the answers he had discovered would mean for us. Randall Syme III's note, uh, notes indicate the existence of a private retreat owned by the Symes family. Used as a place of meditation and research, it may contain information that could help us understand what Symes was trying to achieve in his final days. We should send our operatives. Indeed, we should. The more the disciples of Anu invest into this mutation tech, the further away they will move from what New Jericho considers humanity. This is not a threat, but a statement. There is still time to look to reason, not superstition, for solutions. To seek answers in human will, instead of submission to the alien. But that time is running out. Receiving a transmission from an unidentified source. The transmission is from someone identifying himself as Subject 24. While details are lacking, Subject 24 claims to be contacting us with a warning and a promise of mutual benefits. All attempts to pinpoint the location of the transmission's origin have been unsuccessful. Phoenix, if you are receiving this message, then respond on the secure channel I have provided. It is essential that the information I am about to give you is kept confidential. My name is not important now, but I am known among the pure as Subject 24, the 24th volunteer in a program set up by Tobias West that gave us hope. We had a solution. A solution? A secret program that would fix the world. And in the final moment, he backed down. Nothing prepared me for his treachery, his selfish cowardice. But his attempts to erase us have failed. Failed. It was known as Project Purity. One man's dream of replacing every inch of human flesh with neurally controlled prosthetics. When I volunteered for the project, I had nothing left. My entire family, entire family, had succumbed to the Pandora virus. I watched my wife through bulletproof glass as she slowly turned into an abomination. Abominations! They're everywhere, waiting, watching. I had nothing left to lose. Along with many other brave men and women, I put myself forwards. A lot was sacrificed. He pushed us to the limit. Dozens of us died or were left crippled. And we came close to success. The Juggernaut Warrior was the final design. More than a soldier, more than a human. With titanium skin impervious to infection, perfectly pure. Pure! Pure as a smile in winter as a human should be. There were problems. Total encapsulation created some. Mental instability, hallucinations, and dreams. Not everyone could take it, but there was no shortage of volunteers to take the program forwards. And then, Tobias West, the coward, the traitor, the small-minded charlatan, pulled the plug. Terrified of what he couldn't understand, the great leader ordered everyone involved with the project killed. Killed! Maybe he thought if he buried us, he'd bury the truth of his shame along with us. His shame! But we fought back. I and several others managed to escape. For years we remained silent, hiding, running, waiting for the right moment. The right moment. And that moment has come. Has come! Facing a losing battle against the Pandora virus, the weak-minded West has reactivated the old Project Purity facilities, and that makes him vulnerable. Phoenix, I am offering...
bring you an exchange. I know the location of the facility and how to get in. You have the firepower. The power! Hailstorms of fire and acid. Raid the lab and share the tech with us. All this time in hiding has left us damaged and in need of urgent repairs. If you succeed, we will both gain. Humanity will gain. We are the pure. The pure! We are the future. Help us, Phoenix. Help our species. Uh, subject 24 has requested that we perform the raid on a new Jericho facility. Uh, should we agree, he will send us specific details, including the exact location of the facility and potentially its security defenses. Such an action, however, is likely to worsen our relations with Jun New Jericho. Uh, I'll agree to help, even though I'm not sure if I want to do it. This New Jericho neural tech we've been hearing about, it sounds like a pretty cool technology, really, but has anyone thought about how easily it could be abused by, uh, I don't know, an autocratic leader with delusions of grandeur? Um, I am going for the new Jericho ending in this attempt, so I'm going to try and, uh, you know, kiss their asses a little bit. I think so. Because to me, it seems like these principles never find structural expression and are thrown aside all too easily when it's convenient. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe new Jericho is all you believe it to be. I hope so. Hey! Okay, um... Okay, assault was exactly what I was looking for. Um, you need a med pack. Actually, several of you need med packs. see here Let's do a little bit more exploring nothing useful great actually you know what else I should do oh project Lauren Lori this is the DLC Probably want the population census. Um, yeah, then Triton. Actually, no, let's do Triton, Project Glory, population census. All right. Okay, at the Disciples of Anu Haven. Missouri, a mutated worm infestation, is causing serious problems. The locals had placed their hopes in Taxiarch Nurgle, the Disciples' greatest military hero, but Nurgle is said to be fighting a series of pitched battles against the Pandorans and has been unable to help. We could eradicate the infestation ourselves, helping the Haven and creating a good first impression with this faction. Okay, um, I'm going to do it, but uh, first... I'm actually going to save the game in case I crash again. Okay, and then I'm going to end this video and then start a new one. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in a second.